What do you kids need to tell us? I tried to guess, but my mind's a total blank. <laughs> doing? It's Tai Chi. It's an ancient form of exercise and meditation. It originated in the Far East, in a place called Los Angeles. <laughs> you know, for a terrible grouch, red is great in bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I know we've had only one session, but from what I'm hearing, everything you say is completely right, and everything Bob says is completely wrong. I think I'm gonna like therapy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Eric, but I still gotta twist your neck shut. Dad, you know, you shouldn't be threatening Eric. You should be, uh, thanking him. What? <laughs> wow. Speaking of, has anyone read Equus? I gave a copy to Midge, but no offense, sweetie. It may be a little too deep for her. Wait a minute. What do you mean, no offense? Well, I mean, don't be offended. Oh! <laughs> Eric and I have sex. There. You know. At least I have a nice boyfriend and not some juvenile delinquent. Like that Fonzie. <laughs> language is so oppressive to women. I mean, why is it male man and not male woman? Why do they even call the male male? Why not call it female? Yes, you see, Bob, now you're thinking. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just being funny because it's stupid. Okay. Then that's why you're part of the problem. Bob, I've been telling you for months how I've needed to expand my mind. Is this about jewelry? Because I'll buy you jewelry. No, sweetie, it's about me becoming a whole person. Midgey, don't take this the wrong way, but that's just stupid. Well, I don't think it's your decision. Well, I'm the man of the house, and I say you're not going to community college. You can't tell me what to do, you big... I thought this was a one-time deal. Bob, you can't learn total female empowerment in one night. It takes ten nights. Wait, uh-uh, Midge. You're not going back. Aphrodite, the goddess of war, wouldn't take this, and neither will I. She likes the shirt better. You're an ass, Bob. Ooh, good comeback. Ooh. <laughs> Loving the time we spend together, Donna. In my new book, Our Mothers, Ourselves, it says we're supposed to be friends. We should talk to each other and listen. Your stupid father never listens. Is there anything in your book about not insulting my father? Oh, I don't know. I only read the first chapter. <laughs> oh, okay, no more talking about your father. So how do you like the talks I bought you? Oh, they're awesome. Oh, good, because your father's an ass. You know what's beautiful? Fruit cake. All of the different colored little fruits living together in one cake. I jumped out of a cake once. Okay, so you all know. I don't know anything. I wear a toupee. Bob, if you tell them, they'll know. And at least Eric had the guts to come over here and tell you man to man. Well, I'm happy for you. And thank you for being honest. That took a lot of courage, didn't it, Bob? I'm going to bed. <laughs> <clears throat> 
So, how was it? Oh, God. Bob doesn't want me to take this class, but it sounds so exciting. It's all about female empowerment. It's called the woman warrior. <laughs> Fighting female stereotypes. That's the professor. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Look, Bob, being bald isn't something that a man has to hide from. A toupee is just silly. I keep telling him if he'd grow as much hair in his head as he does in his back, he'd have a full head of hair. Help! Mitch! I'm trapped under this very heavy branch! Help! Oh, my God! Red! Are you hurt? Go, Bob, go! Not nice. I'm not sorry, Mitch. Donna, look, you have to believe me. I have no idea whose panties those are. Donna, those panties are mine. Eric! Oh, you are a god! A god, I said! Um, <clears throat> Mom, why were your panties in the Vista Cruiser? And please be as specific. <laughs> Donna, when you've been together as long as your father and I have, you need to do creative things in creative places. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, left my wallet in the car, Midge. <clears throat> I left my sex with Bob in the car. Bob! <laughs>